Praise the Lord, saints. We are so glad you were able to join us on this wonderful Thursday evening. We thank God for another day. I thank him for his keeping power uh, with so much going on in the world today. We are just glad to be in the house of the Lord virtually uh, one more time. Um, at this time, I'm going to turn us over to uh, First Lady Lad to lead us in our opening prayer. Praise the Lord, everybody. Anybody have any requests? Okay. Father God, we just thank you for this day, the blessings there. We thank you for waking us up. And starting us on the way, God, bless us to see a day that was not promised, God. Um, God, we just thank you for your mercy, for your new mercies on this day, God. God, I just pray that you have your way in our hearts and our minds. God, I pray that the vessel in which you use on today, God, that you would touch it through with your Holy Spirit, God. Have your way, God. And give it to us what you would, uh, give it to him what you would have us to have. Um, teach us, Father. Um, lead us and guide us, God. Have your way in this service. Bless um, everyone that speaks, God. Just have your way, God. We just thank you for being our God. We thank you for being our Father. We thank you for who you have made us to be in you, God. We just appreciate you and we praise you. We thank you for your healing virtues, God, and um, just pray that you continue to bless each and every family, each and every request that's gone before on our group chat, God. I just pray that you move in a mighty way, God. Bless them. I start calling them out. I miss somebody, but um, bless the Moore family, God. Keith Moore and his family, God. Okay. Granddaughter, God, in the name of Jesus, God. We just thank you because we know who you are, God. We thank you because we know that you're able. God, I just pray that you just minister into their family, God. In Jesus' name, God, draw us to, cross, to Christ, God. Draw them all. In Jesus' name, we pray. We thank you for it. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you so much. Um, at this time, I'm going to ask Brother Bernard Haley to read our scripture for this evening. Praise the Lord, everyone. I will uh, read uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 8 to 10. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might may be manifest in our body. Amen. Amen. Oh, man, what a timely, timely word. Uh, you can be perplexed, but do not despair. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for that wonderful scripture. Um, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to the capable hands of uh, our Minister of Music, Sister Cynthia Smith, for um, our song this evening. I believe it's going to be Sister Brittany or whoever she appointed. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> Great is thy faithfulness, mm. O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter. Springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. 
hearts. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. We've been pardoned for sinning, a peace that endureth. We have your own presence to cheer and to guide. Strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Blessings are mine and ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning. By morning, new mercies we see. All we have needed, God, you provided. And all we have needed, God, you provided. All we have needed, God, you provided. Yes. So great is your faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you so Amen. much. So much for that wonderful selection, Dr. Ladd. Um, what, what a great tie in to our scripture. You think about you know all that we've been through and then we can still say great is god's faithfulness we can be reminded <laughs> great is god's faithfulness through those trials and tribulations um yeah i was you know these things are unplanned you know nobody coordinates <laughs> ahead of time and says okay i'm gonna read that scripture so you sing this song <laughs> you know it's just, uh, it's just amazing Amen. uh the continuity of how god's word um how god's word is going forward on tonight um Beautiful. At this time, we will uh, open the floor up for any testimonies this evening. If anybody um, has anything they would like to share about the goodness of God um, in their lives personally. Or any spoken words, if we have any on tonight. All right. Saying none. Um, at this time, I will turn it over to the capable hands of our teacher for this evening. Uh, <clears throat> Pastor Bobby, you're on mute. Okay. okay. Praise the Lord, Chase. Praise the Lord. Back to me praise the Lord. Got hand praise for the word. Amen. Testimonies and the scriptures. I guess we didn't have very many testimonies, but certainly had some scripture and song tonight. I was uh, looking tonight and um, listened to how the uh, scripture Bernard read and the song uh, Brittany sang fit into the lesson tonight. And uh, I like to I like to talk to you about um, a verb, an adjective. And a noun, <laughs> a verb, an adjective, and a noun. And so, uh, matter of fact, in the order I do, I'll be verb, noun, and adjective. So you can put B and A down for today's lesson. And I want to start um, uh, with my wife to say a word of prayer of the word tonight. And uh, then I want to start with Ephesians 1 6. Thank you, Lord. God, I just thank you for your blessings. I thank you for our being. God, I pray that you just bless this vessel, God, that you use, God. Download into him, God, all that you'd have him to speak unto us, God. Bless his vessel, God. Bless him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, God. Bless him on the inside out, God. Touch this, your vessel, God, your servant, God. Bless us to have open ears and open hearts to receive your word, God. 
and then to our hearts, God, and let us walk therein, God. Have your way in our lives, God. Help us to just have the renewed commitment, even after this word, to walk according to your will and to fulfill the purpose that you have for each and every one of our lives, God. Help us to ever to remember to trust you in all we do and all we say. God, in all that comes our way, help us to trust you, Father. And we give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Uh, I would like um, to start by having Bernard reread that scripture. I want you to listen to the parallels here. We are this, but not that. And then there's a great introdu introduction to this lesson. Bernard, are you still there? If you can do that scripture again. Yeah, I almost broke my toe getting here, but <laughs> 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 I'm still here. Okay, it said, uh, which verse? The first verse? I start eight? Yes, huh? We are yes. troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body of the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. And, and, and thank you, sir. And, and that's the reason. And, and look at the stuff that the Lord allowed mm -hmm. to happen. Trouble, but not distressed, not stressed out. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not not broken um so things happen and that was number two what was number two um persecuted not forsaken. what was before persecuted not forsaken trouble but not distress trouble on every side but not distress what was number two the second thing here? perplexed but not in despair perplexed but not in, i'm just not i'm not gonna break down i don't understand everything but i'm not i'm not stressed out over it and how many have things that are going on in your life? You just can't understand it, but you, you're not going to stress out about it. And so things happen. But why can we keep this attitude that's captured in the spirit of these verses? And it has to do with the verb, the noun, and the adjective I want to talk about tonight. So the verb is accepted. Accepted. A-C-C-E-P-T-D. Accepted. That's the verb. And like, this, like most languages, the strength the strength of any language is the verb, it's the action words. And the verb we want to understand tonight is accepted. Karutao in the Greek. And it means to pursue with favor. You know, anybody ever had anybody pursue you? Anybody just had somebody pursue you? Some people ask you out for a date, some people show interest, but other people pursue. And I think your husbands and wives, y'all understand, somebody pursued you. I pursued my wife. She knows it. She'll testify. I pursued her. And so this word accepted is only used twice uh, in the New Testament in the Greek, the Textus Receptus. But it means to surround with grace and to pursue, pursue with grace and surround with favor. And this word is used of only two people in the New Testament, only two people, Mary, when angels showed up. You know, Mary, highly favored, Kartao. Pursued with, 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 pursued with grace, surrounded with favor. And the other person's used up is you. Ephesians 1. Let's put it up on the screen. Ephesians 1, beginning at verse 3. I want to go to verse 6. Well, accept it. So the first part of this is accept it. A-C-C-E-P-T-E-D. <coughs> it's important for us to know we are accepted of God. You, with all your mess, with all your trouble, with all your stuff, me with all my mess, with all my trouble, with all my stuff, with all my doubts, with all my fears, I'm accepted of God. Ephesians 1, verses 3 through 6. This, this is the word of God. It's not, it's not Bobby talking. I want you to understand that this is the power of God's word to you. You need to understand that you are accepted. My son is applying to different colleges and Questions, will they accept him? Will they accept him? Will they accept him? You know, he's applying to different high level colleges, MIT, Harvard, Yale, and OU, top of the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Questions, will he get accepted? Will they accept him? That, and that's the question. He's hoping to be accepted. But on a much higher, grander, universal uh, uh, distance away, there's a God whose name's above every name, and he has accepted you. 
beginning of verse three. David, if you're on the line, I'm going to have you read it since you're dealing with acceptance now. Give me verse three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, have, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in, the, in heavenly places in Christ. He has blessed you. <laughs> I want you to take your mind off your trouble a minute. God has blessed you. You are blessed. I don't know what you're dealing with. That. You are blessed. The Bible tells me. With all spiritual blessing up there where you can't see, God has blessed you, called you by name, protected you, kept you, kept your mind, kept your body, put you in position to understand the word of God, to be a blessing. He has blessed you, that's Bible, with all spiritual blessing in heaven. <laughs> you know, what is more, what is worth more weight than the phrase, God is with you? Is there anything on earth that, that, that even stands in comparison that God is with you? He has blessed you, blessed us with all spiritual blessing. Verse 4, David. According as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should chosen be. Who? Chosen who? Chosen who? Him. Us chosen him. who? Us. God is right there. You know, you ought to be able to face whatever you're dealing with right there. The fact that God chose you. Before the foundation of the world, read. That we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Read. Having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Christ Jesus to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. To the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. We are what? Accepted. Who's accepted? We are. <laughs> so if you accepted of God, when I, I'm a, I want you to come off mute and I want to ask a question. Who's accepted? Feel right to you given and given what you think about yourself and, and how you know you behaved and how you know you thought and how you measure up to you know the super saints. If you accept of God and you believe the script, you believe the word of God over your feelings and your own measurements, if you will, if you will believe the word of God over the way you measure things in your mind, when I ask you who is accepted of God, I want you to say, I am. To the praise of his glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted in the beloved. Who is accepted in God's beloved? Come off mute and answer. God of praise. Hallelujah. You are accepted. And God, God loves you. And nothing the devil can do about it. Ain't nothing the world can do about it. Surely Caesar had it right. This joy that I have, this love that I have, this peace that I have, the world didn't give it, and the world cannot take it away. You've been accepted in the most exclusive club in the universe, the family of God. So how did you get in? Because he is so worthy. Jesus was so worthy. He made you accept it. He is so much greater than your failures and your sinfulness and, and your weaknesses and, and what other uh, deficiencies you think. He is so much greater than that that he made you accept it. You ever had somebody on a football team carry the whole team, on a basketball team carry the whole team across the finish line? Somebody just take up and take over the game? You ever watch a basketball game and one player decided we ain't losing today? You ever watch a game like that? You ever been that guy or that girl? God decided we are not going to lose souls to Satan who want to go to heaven. And he came down and took over the game for us. Died on the cross for our sins in the form of flesh. Made us a champion in the beloved and took captivity captive and gave gifts to Amen. me and made us Amen. The Amen. Amen. Took the game on. Amen. Bible said he delivered us from yes. the fear of death. Yes. Destroyed mm. the devil. Amen. Not willing. And she put the whole team on his back and carried us across the goal, goal line. Made Amen. us accepted in the beloved. Amen. We ought to give God some praise Amen. for taking the game over, taking it out of our hands. Took the last shot for us and won the game. Amen. Give God some Oh, Amen. made us accept. Amen. Made us a winner. Mm. Declared us to be the sons of God with glory. 
That's why the Bible says, Behold, what man of love the Father has thrown upon us, that we should be called the Son. We are accepted in the beloved. And mm. since Jesus has made us accepted, accepted, beloved, that's the verb, accepted, caratal, pursued us with grace, surrounded us with favor. Only you and Mary <laughs> had that word used to you in scripture. Pursued us, took us over the goal line, made us accepted. Then we've got to learn to walk in acceptance. That's the noun, acceptance. We've got to learn to walk in acceptance. Let's put 1 John 4 up on the screen. We've got to learn to walk in this acceptance. You've got to know on your good days you accept it, but on your bad days you accept it because the blood of Jesus gold cleanses deeper than the stain of sin can go. The blood of Jesus rates higher than your failures. The blood of Jesus is so much greater than your personal failures that you still accept it in the beloved. There's no comparison. Where sin did abound, grace did the more abound. Get over yourself. <laughs> Get over yourself. It's like you playing a basketball game and you 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 tried to win the game, you missed a few shots, and, and Jesus grabbed the rebound and dunked it, and you won. You still worried about them shots you missed. The game's over. He won it for you. Mm. You don't get no credit. God won the game. Just rejoice. You're on the winning side. He made you a winner. Took up your bricks and won the game. <laughs> Come down to, down to verse, go down around verse 18, First John 4. Come on, okay, now, let's see here. We're going to go, I want to go in, back up to verse 16. Okay, give me, beginning at verse 15. David, I'm going to stay with you tonight. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God. Go ahead. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God okay, we have known and believed the love that God. I want to talk about walking acceptance. I want to talk about walking in acceptance. Understand that you've been accepted. So walk in it. Wow. You've been accepted. You got to walk in. You got to understand that you are accepted, and that ought to shape whatever you, that ought to shape your attitude for whatever you face. How can you have the attitude that we read about in that scripture of Bernard that it was trouble, but not distressed? We're perplexed, but not in despair. We're cast down, but not broken. Persecuted, but we know we're not forsaken. We have to walk in acceptance. How do we do that? We have known and believed that God loves us. We are walking in his acceptance. Good days, bad days, winning days, losing days, successful days, failure days. We are walking in the acceptance of God. Read, beginning of God's love. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is that, our love. That, that, that I'll just floor you. You are dwelling in God and God is dwelling in you. That ought to floor you. It's enough that God is with us. That, that that's just blows my mind. God is with us. I was playing basketball in the league and we were really had some tough teams to play. And they went and recruited one of the college players to play for FSU and said, guess what? He's gonna come play with us. He said, he's gonna play. Yeah, he played with us. That boy could ball. And we just thought, okay. And his name was Lorenzo Hands. Lorenzo was with us. We felt good. We felt like we were gonna win. How much more to get up and face tomorrow and face today? Noah, God is with you. Walking in acceptance. Talking to God. Like, like you, you, you in the boxing ring and you come to over there to sit down between rounds and God is your corner man talking with you and working on you and telling you get back in the fight. We got this. I already wrote the score down. You win. Just get in there and take a few swings. Verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect. Here is our love made complete. It, it, it's got to be made complete. You got to understand God's love. Read. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. What? You have boldness with your record? I have boldness? This can't be scripture. We are ashamed, right? <laughs> we think about our track record. We're supposed to have what? 
Read that again, son. Make sure you got that word right. That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. When you fully understand that you accept it and your love is made perfect, one result is you can have boldness in the day of judgment. Why? Because Christ was judged for your sins. And you are guiltless. Because the price he paid, his blood was so good, it covered all your mess and then some. And you can have boldness knowing your account is set. You, and, and, and it's everything been paid in full. You can boldness. You ever get a bill you didn't know? <laughs> you, 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 think about your attitude when they send you a bill, you already paid it. Everybody, anybody been there? Mm -hmm. You know a phone call you love to make? <laughs> Oh, you know you love it. Because there's times when they call you and you ain't made the paper, you're dodging and you're looking at the caller ID. We've been there. <laughs> Tell the truth, shame the devil. But when you didn't pay that bill, they mess around and call you. Isn't that a fun call? Check, check, check your record. On the 17th, you should have a payment. You, oh, you got it. Okay. So why is this call being made? Don't you have fun with it? When you paid the bill and they call, I'll take your phone, give me your phone, give me your phone, I'll handle it. Wow. Down the spade. How in the world can we, with our track record and our sinfulness and our failures, have boldness and they have done because his blood is that good? And when you understand that you that his blood has paid the price in full once and for all, and he sat down, your love becomes complete. You can have boldness in the day of judgment. Stand before God and peace on your account is settled. Price has been played, paid, paid. It's the blood of bulls and goats and the offerings of heifers was good in the Old Testament. How much more shall the blood of Jesus Christ, who through the eternal spirit offer himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve living God? Amen. Amen. Now, boldness. Preach. Because who took the place for you? Jesus put you on his back. You're getting across the goal line. You got across the goal. You got boldness because your count is set by nothing less than the blood of Jesus. Amen. I hope this built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his rights. And my account is paid for. We used to write checks in back in the day. And sometimes when you hand the merchant a check, they, they, they feel it. They feel that check. Trying to figure out if it's good or not. They look at you and they size you up. They look you over. You don't write checks anymore. Yeah. They wondering is, 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 is this is this money any good? <laughs> mm -hmm. But when your account has been paid with the blood of Jesus Christ, <laughs> it's settled. You can have boldness in a day of judgment. That's when your love was made perfect. That's when you learn to walk in acceptance. Give me verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. When you are fearful about your situation, about your salvation, the Bible is saying you don't understand the love of God. Your love is not, your love has been completed. Because the price that Jesus paid is above question. Give God a hand, praise. <laughs> you trying to compare. What your sin weighs over here and your fair way on one side of the scale, on the other side, you got the blood of Jesus. You ought to be ashamed of yourself even making that comparison. The blood of Jesus so far outweighs your sin that it can't be measured. There's no fear in love. Complete love casts it out the fear. You don't have the torment. And if you're fearing, fearful you're not made you don't understand god's love and we love him verse 19 says because he first loved us we've got to learn to walk in this acceptance we've been made except we just got to learn to walk in it you've got a hand praise and our part <laughs> is all we can do as a result of what God has done is, 
is let's go to Psalm 19, verse 14. I'll spend the least amount of time on this. Hey, hey uh, Street, was the second word walk? The second word, the second word was acceptance. The first, the verb was accepted. Okay. The noun was acceptance, walking in acceptance. Psalm 14. And, yes, and the adjective here is acceptable. Matter of fact, let me let me let me go let me go to Romans 12. Uh give me Romans 12 first. Give me Romans 12, and then we'll, we'll finish on Psalm 19. Romans 12, and David, go ahead and give me verses, give verse one and two. You, you know by now I might interrupt you, interrupt you as we go. Well, give me verses one and two. Go ahead, David, I'm staying with you tonight. We're dealing with acceptance, so I'm staying with you. <laughs> David, you there? Can you read it? Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. If only reasonable, <laughs> given what God has done, this he's placed, it's only reasonable <laughs> that you give yourself to God. So we just because we've been accepted and we're walking acceptance, it's up to us. We're children of God by, by faith in Christ Jesus. It's up to us whether to do things that are acceptable. We can do things that are unacceptable to God. <laughs> you can be a good kid or a bad kid. You can be somebody who distracts, or you can be somebody who contributes. It's up to you. But the ideal is since God has done so much, I'd rather be a good kid, and as a result, I want to do stuff that's acceptable to God. That's our, that's our response. <laughs> He made me accept it. I'm walking acceptance. And as a result, I think I just turn around and do something acceptable. I can choose to or not, but I'd rather choose to do acceptable stuff. It's our reasonable service. Give me verse two. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. I just want to do stuff that's acceptable in God. I, I, not, not to be saved. I understand that, that that anything I do, I couldn't save myself. The blood saved me. I was made yeah. accepted. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm walking in acceptance. And what I want to do now is just tell the Lord, thank you. So I just want to do stuff that's acceptable. I just want to please him. That's my response to all this grace. <laughs> I just want to be acceptable. Last verse, Psalm 19, give me verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation. Let, 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 let what comes out of my mouth, let my speech, let my talk, what people hear me say, let the words of my mouth read. And the meditation of my heart. What, what I think and how I think, God. What? Be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. How I say things and how I come across. I'm not saving myself with this. But because the Lord is my strength and my redeemer, and since he made me accept and I'm walking in accept, because of who he is and who he made me, I just want to, I just want to try to live up to the part. I want to try to walk worthy of this thing that's been bestowed upon me. So I want my words to be seasoned with grace. And when I think in my heart, I want it to be right. And what's the marriage? I want it to be acceptable in thy sight. God, my strength. And God, my redeemer, let it be, let what I think and what I say be acceptable to you, God. That's going to bless me. Just knowing it's acceptable, accepted with God. And so, in summary, uh, you know, even, even when the Bible talks about offerings, it says you give based on what you have, not what you don't have. And if you do that, it's accepted. 
in God's sight. He looks at what you can do. And somebody, the widow given two mites was accepted. <laughs> two pennies is what she could do. God looks at what you're capable of. And as you and, and you, his pitiful, frail, fragile child, he knows what you can do. And when you just put it out there, if your heart is right, God will find it acceptable. <laughs> it's accepted. Mm. And more than any of that, mm. the fact that we, us, with our persons, are accepted. Even men, certain men won't accept us. You, there's certain men that won't allow you in their company certain clubs and cliques and, 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 and maybe billionaires and, 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 and people that, that are, you know, well to do in this world and of a certain ilk and, you know, of certain feathers will not accept you in this world. And yet you've been accepted of God. <laughs> you outrank and outshine them all. God has made you through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ made you accepted in the beloved. And because we've been accepted, we have to learn to walk in the confidence, boldness, <laughs> the tranquility, the peace, the comfort. We have to walk in acceptance, knowing that God is with us. What is worth more than that? And after we've been accepted and walk in acceptance, we say, you know what? <laughs> I don't care what the world has to offer. I'm going to turn around and try to do the things that are pleasing in God's sight. The words of my mouth, my heart. I just want to be acceptable. I want to do what's acceptable, not to make me acceptable. Jesus made me. But the words of my mouth, meditation, my heart be acceptable. Because we've been acceptance, accepted, we can walk in acceptance. After all that's done, the little bit I can do is do the things and find the things to do that are acceptable in the sight of God. That's our challenge. That's what's before us. The game's already over. <laughs> we won. Jesus won. I just want to do what's acceptable in your sight, God. My strength. My redeemer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor John and Pastor Darrell. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, anybody else before Pastor John and then if anybody else from the congregation has something to say, then we'll give it to Pastor John afterwards and Pastor Darrell. Amen. Hey Amen. If there's no one else, um, feel free to cut in. Uh, feel free to cut in. Uh, if there's no one else, I'll just say so the lord spoke tonight uh lord has spoke tonight. he might still he's still speaking uh, i just I, this is just wonderful uh one thought that came to mind as you were teaching uh, this is a beautiful um lesson in so many levels uh, early in the lesson i thought to myself you know the real sad thing is is that so many of us live a life as if we feel we don't understand that we're accepted you know we are actually accepted like like our everything checks out like our the stamp of approval is, is present but we don't see it it's like on our back or something like that you, you know and we we live in a way that you know we miss out on that and that's just it's unfortunate I, have you ever i was thinking about like being at a I've been so many places in my life when I was young, particularly um, where I felt out of place and like, you know, there might've been food there, but I didn't feel like I was, you know, fit to eat the food there. And the people be like, no, 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 you know, eat, you know, get a piece of pizza, grab, grab this, you know, or something like that sometimes. Uh, but I was just thinking how, you know, we can treat God like that on some levels, like, he wants us to come boldly. He wants us, he wants to go straight in his refrigerator. You know, like he wants us to, he wants us to, you know, come home and just, you know, air out to tell him everything and lay before his feet and just talk to him. And and uh, and sometimes I feel like that we're uh like like we're we're you know iffy about opening God's refrigerator and iffy about 
airing out our dirty laundry to God. And if you're you know what I'm saying? It's just like, I mean, there's so much to this lesson, so many layers. I, I know that the, the, the lesson is speaking to me when I'm constantly looking up at the recording button. I think I looked at the recording button 15 times just to make sure that we didn't make a mistake and miss a piece. Uh, and, uh, but uh, it's just, I'm going to go back through this. Acceptance was where I, like, it was like my maximum at risk. <laughs> like, like I, was, I was in century overload at that point um, because it, it was getting, I mean, I'm just, I'm like getting caught by so much. <laughs> I'm trying to get out. <laughs> I'm trying to make it to the next phase, but uh, it was just a beautiful, beautiful lesson. I'm definitely going to listen to this probably five times before the next time we see each other. All right, <laughs> Pastor Darrell. Hey, man, thank you. I appreciate uh, your words, Pastor John. Anyone else uh, before I uh, say words? Yeah. yeah, I certainly enjoyed the, the nice lesson, and, and I I got stuck on accept it. And, uh, and I think that's, for me, it just makes it, um, it makes my part easy. I mean, because once I've established that I'm accepted and really know that, then it's it's a lot easier knowing that whatever I'm doing, I'm not doing anything to be accepted. If you know that you already won, and that's why I, that's why I love the order of, of the, the 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 verb and the noun and the adjective is because if we started with the noun or the adjective, I, I got to do something, I got to do, I got to do this, you know, nine nine and a half won't do. I got to do something, I got to do this and do this, and do this, so that I could one day get accepted. But this pastor Bible said, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> there's nothing you can do to be accepted. Nothing you can do. It's already been done. And if we really, really believe that we are that, then it's going to be easy or less difficult, not even hard to live this life because we are accepted. And, and it's just uh, just good to know know who we are. And uh, I was thinking uh, my, uh, my boss wanted me to meet this guy today for lunch. He's some he sold some company for $60 million and he drives a Lamborghini and he's just like filthy rich. And I don't know why he wanted to meet, meet him, uh, but said he wanted me to do some business with him. So I met him at the uh, some nice restaurant. And and uh, so it was an uh, interesting meeting because he was just like a, a total renaissance man. I mean, he just knew about everything. He was like probably the smartest guy I've ever talked to in my life. He just knew everything. He's just like a brilliant guy. And he started talking about the wars and stuff like that. And he's from Lebanon and da 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 and he was saying that how everything was, how, how everything, to get the victory over anybody, he says, in anything, you have to convince them that they're not who they are, or not who they think they are, not who they know they are. It always starts with that. And so, and I thought, man, that's interesting. And so if if the devil convinced you that you're not accepted, or you're not a child of God, then you know, that's, that's, that's how, that's things are won. But to know who we are, to know that we are a child of God, that we know we are accepted, then it's, we just go live like it because we are. And I thought it was just, it was just a beautiful lesson and, and it really runs, uh, um, it, it just lets us you know, live this victorious life because we are. So I, I really you know, get stuck on uh, accept it because that's something that, that I need to remind myself of all the time, right before I beat myself up and you know, I'm accepted, I'm accepted. I'm accepted. So go live like, go walk like, go talk like it, that you're accepted of God. I, I really, really enjoyed tonight's lesson. And uh, just, just a beautiful lesson. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Pass by with a beautiful lesson. Thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. oh, man, thank you so much for that, um, that wonderful word. Um, I think what stood out to me was the reasonable response uh, in law. There's often a reasonable person standard for judgmental conduct. So, you know, we ask, would a reasonable person respond this way? And you can often, um, often justify your actions by saying, well, look, you know, this was, you know, commercially reasonable. So we only put in so much effort or if this was a reasonable person would have reacted this way or would not have reacted this way. So, um, you know, the Bible says, this is your reasonable service. <laughs> this mm -hmm. is common sense <laughs> when so much has been done. Um, mm -hmm. Thank God for that. Um, at this time, I'm going to ask if um, Amen. Brother Jonathan Davis, I believe he's on, if you'd lead us in our closing prayer. Live like you are loved.
Okay. I don't see him still on. Okay, so I will leave this in our closing prayer. Does anyone have any uh, prayer requests? Pray for me in school. Abigail. Continue to keep me in your prayers and uh, my dad as well. Mm -hmm. Continue to pray for uh, myself and my family. I uh, remember uh, Suffragan Bishop Tyler. Yeah. And pray for, continue to pray for Mayor Richmond. I believe Brother Carl is still recovering from his procedure as well. Keep him in prayer. All right. Um, One last request. Okay. I just, just want to, again, I feel constrained to say, I want to pray that the saints begin to walk more and more in their acceptance. Just walk. I think we can just be so much more confident for the saints to walk more and more in their acceptance. I guess you can add that to prayer. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, um, we come before you now, thanking you for the privilege of calling you Father, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. God, we thank you for your goodness and mercy. We thank you for the word that went forth tonight, God. We thank you that we have been accepted according to your word, God. Father, I pray that we would continue to walk in that acceptance, God, knowing that that is not contingent upon what we have deemed ourselves, God. And it's not about whether or not we are worthy. It's not about whether or not we have deemed ourselves righteous, God, but because of the blood that Jesus shed, we have been declared faultless and we can stand before you as sons and daughters. God, we thank you for the cross tonight. We thank you, God, for the power of the resurrection, Lord. We thank you for the forgiveness that we receive, God, that we don't have to walk around guilty, God. You've declared us free. You've declared us whole, God. Father, I ask that you continue to bless us and keep us. Help us to continue to walk according to your word, Father, because that is our reasonable response after the great gift that has been offered to us, God. Thank you for grace. Lord, thank you for the gift that is grace. And we thank you for the name that you gave Jesus, Emmanuel, God with us. Pray for continued protection and healing over the saints, God. As you continue to touch this world, Lord, help us to be lights in it. God. I pray for peace, Lord, in this tumultuous time. We thank you again for your goodness and your mercy. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.